Your gift will make room for you. Now, what is your gift? It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. Nobody asked you to go down here and study to be a dentist, and you ain't really good at that. Quit going down to the church trying to sing. You can't sing. <laughs> now, just because they let you sing at the church, you're not finna, ain't nobody else finna go with this. Because, you know, come as you are, the Lord loveth the cheerful, give all that. We don't apply scriptures out here. You come to the Apollo and you can't sing, we got something for your ass up there. <laughs> Period. Listen to me. All of you have this gift. Identify it. It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's what you should be doing. You're wasting your time pursuing your passion. The Bible does not mention passion. It mentions your gift. What are you gifted at and do that? Stop tripping. You can do that. If you fry chicken better than everybody you know, you ought to be somewhere frying chicken. People make millions of dollars frying chicken. Popeyes. Kentucky Fried Chicken, El Pollo Loco. All they doing is making chicken. They just found a way to do it. Somebody just started making chicken. You know the story of Marie Callender's? Do you know what this woman did, man? She worked for a diner, a greasy spoon diner that was going out of business. It was her only job. She was a single mother. It was her only job. She needed that job, but the diner was going to close. So she went to the owner of the diner and said, let me bake one of my pies, people like my pies, and see if I can help you make a little money. He said, whatever, bring it in. He, she bought one pie in. They sold every slice. The next day, the people came in and asked for the pie. She had to go home and make another pie. The next day, so many people asked for the pie, she had to make four pies. Then people started saying, can I buy my own pie? She made so many pies at this store that she eventually saved her money and put a commercial oven in her house. Now, all she done made so many pies, the dude's shop, he ain't selling hamburgers no more. <laughs> all he's selling is them damn pies. That's how Marie Callender got started. Marie Callender now has over 120 restaurants. You can't go to no frozen food section without seeing Marie Callender in there. You know what she started with? A pie. One pie. The dude that, when I had hair, when I had that world famous lining with that box cut when I was Steve Hightower, Kings of Comedy, when I had that hair, the dude that cut my hair, I met him in 1986. He cut my hair for $10. I remembered him. When I got on TV, I had I hired him. He came out there, he started making $300 a haircut. I paid him 10. He had been with me so many years that he was making $1,500 per haircut. I was getting my hair cut four times a week for television and touring. I paid him $1,500 each time. He was making $6,000 a week. You know what he was doing? Cutting hair. That same haircut I paid $10 for in 87, this dude was cutting it now for me for $1,500. I cut my hair off. He, he... <laughs> we had to put him on suicide watch for a little while. But then let me tell you what he did. I paid him a chunk of money for being with me all these years, gave him a severance pay, told him good luck. Guess what this dude got now? He got four salons and he owned two barber colleges. You know what this dude make now? 3.6 million a year. You know what he do? He cut hair. He cut hair. He don't do nothing else. That's his gift. Friend of mine we grew up with, all he did was cut grass. He had a single blade lawnmower that he pushed. He was so good at it, he could raise the blades up and lower them. He could cut patterns in your grass. We little, I'm going, hey man, we going to swimming. Now I gotta cut Miss Jackson grass. He could cut patterns in your yard. He could put your initials in your grass as a little boy. $2 for the front, $2 for the back. $4. We used to laugh at him all the time. Well, let me tell you what we laughing at now. He got a landscaping company in Cleveland. You know how much this boy making? Four million dollars a year. 
You know what he do? He cut grass. He got 38 trucks. He got all the contracts in the city, malls, corporations. And when it's snow outside, he do such a good job cutting the grass, he put plows on the front of his trucks, and he got all the snow removal contracts. This boy making $4 million a year, and you know what he do? He cut grass.